they can do this to me, they can do this to you. Remember, three years ago, the FBI raided my apartment and my law office, and they investigated me for two and a half years. Twenty years of my life they investigated, and they wrote a letter to the grand jury that they couldn't find a single crime. So that should have pretty much cleared me out, don't you think? Except for this ridiculous uh, case in which I'm being prosecuted guys, for guys, defending an American citizen who uh, I do as a lawyer. And uh, five other lawyers are indicted. That should tell you right away that this is a an assault on our Constitution. Uh, F uh, Fanny Willis will go down in American history as having conducted one of the worst attacks on the American Constitution ever when this case is dismissed. She has uh, violated uh, people's First Amendment right to advocate uh, the government, to petition the government for grievances, like an election they believe was poorly conducted or falsely conducted. People have a right to believe that in America. Uh, Biden and the Biden state doesn't have a right to tell you what the truth is. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor. And I will, I will, I will tell you, if you need to know what this is all about, the FBI stole my iCloud account. And you know when they went and stole it? The day that I began representing Donald Trump four years ago. Mr. The day after I represented Trump. Mr. Mayor, you so affect For all that time, the federal be government careful, be careful, guys. Nobody was fine on Donald Trump and his lawyer. I am being indicted because I'm a lawyer, as is Mr. Mayor, last Mr. month, Mayor, Mr. Mayor, last Mayor, month, you, hey, Mr. Mayor, right here, Mr. Mayor, you effectively Mr. last Mr. Mayor, will you be here tomorrow? Oh, with by the way, you're wrong. I didn't do that. I entered into a stipulation for the purposes of that case to move on. I specifically says I do not in any way admit the truth of those allegations. Those allegations are totally false. You did not contest that you made fraudulent claims about the 2020 election, though, Mr. Mayor. Absolutely wrong, and you're lying, as you often do. If you read it, it says it was only for the purposes of that case, and it was not an admission. You had the opportunity to refute it, though, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor. Hey, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor, do you acknowledge that you made false statements? That is a total you, lie. Why don't you go put yourself you, over But you now. acknowledged it. Why did you I not did fight not that in the court? I acknowledge then? it. That was a stipulation that's done in every lawsuit, not for the purposes of truth. You did not, you you did not contest now, it. You had the opportunity that. to fight that. Wrong. Well, well, I did not because I had to move on to legal issues. Now, let me take another question. You did not deny that you made false statements. You made false statements. Will you be here tomorrow? I will not be here uh, tomorrow. Right. I talked to the president today. I wish him well. I have every confidence in him. What they are doing to him is an assault on the American Constitution. And I say to American citizens, this could guys, happen guys, to you. Guys, you gotta stop now. Are you you have made those statements, sir. Katie, can you hear me? Giuliani getting in the car reminds us a lot of the. Uh,